Hello everyone, how are you today? So uh, today we are going to look at how to solve first order PDE using coordinate method. So in our previous slide, I have shown you how to solve using characteristic method. So today we're going to look at coordinate method. So before we look at coordinate method, let's look at what first order PDE is all about. So we have A U X plus B U Y plus C U equals to F. So this is my first order PDE. Uh, this first order PDE can be solved using characteristic method or coordinate method. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to show you how to solve using coordinate method okay so there are a few steps the first steps will be to introduce the coordinate transformation known as psi ax plus by and eta known as bx minus ay if i take this respect to x and y so i will have psi x and psi y eta x and eta y now um, to solve this okay the next step will be using uh, this equation where you have a squared plus b squared u psi plus c u equals to f okay this is our main equation so the idea of this coordinate method is to transform PDE into ODE where it only depend only has one independent variable okay and then you can use any other method to solve this okay such as separable variable or uh, integrating factor okay so that's why we want to reduce this PDE. Oops. Okay, we want to reduce this PDE to something like equation star here. Okay, so uh, this independent variable we have x and y, two independent variables. But in this case, the independent variable is only psi. So, it's kind of look like our first order uh, ODE. Okay, so that's our main idea using coordinate method. Now, how this equation star you obtain? The equation star can be obtained by using some transformation here. By this transformation variable, psi and eta. So, if my psi in the respect to x, I have a. Differentiating psi with respect to y give me b. Now, same thing for eta x. Differentiate with respect to x, you give me b. Differentiate with respect to y, negative a. Okay, now using some chain rule to find ux given by partial u over partial psi, partial psi over partial x plus partial u over partial eta, partial eta over partial x. Now remember we have two independent variables, so we have to use chain rule here. Now I can write this as u psi, now partial psi over partial x, which is my a, plus u eta, now, eta x, which is my b. Writing this properly, we will have... Okay, so this is the equation for ux. Now, similarly, for uy, so uy here can be obtained as partial u over partial psi, partial psi over partial y plus partial u over partial eta, partial eta over partial y. 
Now partial u over partial psi, we can write like that. And partial psi over partial y, which is my b, plus partial u over partial eta, where I want to write as u eta. Now partial eta over partial y, which is my negative a. Simplifying this will give me b u psi minus a u eta. Okay, now what we do, once you obtain ux and uy, we substitute into this equation. aux plus buy plus cu equals 2f. This is our first order equation. So, we have ux as a, au psi plus bu eta plus b, uy will be bu psi minus au eta plus cu equals to f. Okay, we can see that this term, some of the terms can be cancelled out, such as ab, un, and negative ba, u eta. This leaves us with a squared plus b squared u psi, u psi, plus cu equals to f, which has only one independent variable, which is my psi. Okay, so if you understand this coordinate method, let's look at one example. Okay, we want to solve using coordinate method. This example here. Okay, we have 3ux plus 4uy minus 2u equals to 1. Okay, so from here we know that my a is 3, b is 4, c is minus 2. And f is 1. Okay, let's reduce the transformation. Psi, which is ax plus by. So, this will give me 3x plus 4y. Now, eta is given as bx minus ay. Eta is given as 4x minus 3y. Great. Now, what you do is you are going to substitute into this equation. a squared plus b squared u psi plus cu equals to f. You can skip the transformation. Okay, because we don't need it. We can just plug it in. And again, you know, you don't have to do this part here. Okay, the reason we are showing this, okay, in case you forgot how to derive this equation, you need to find this and then uh, differentiate with respect to x and y and then put it back. Okay, but uh, this step here, I'm going to put a uh, star here, star, star. We are going to look at later on, okay? Because when we want to transform back my psi and eta, we're going to look at this equation. Okay, so putting it back now, let's continue. My a squared plus b squared, 3 squared plus 4 squared, 69 plus 16. So I have 25 u psi minus 2u equals to 1. Okay, now you have this um you can use a proper variable where i have 25 partial u over partial psi equals to 1 plus 2u okay so partial u over 1 plus 2u equals to 1 over 25 partial psi 
okay now using separable variable i can integrate this integrating this with respect to u will give me ln 1 plus 2u don't forget the 2 here divided by 2 will give me 1 over 25 psi plus a function involving eta Okay, so um, simplifying this, ln 1 plus 2u equals to 2 over 25 psi plus d eta. Remember, our psi is 3x for y and eta is 4x minus 3y. So we need it. That's why I say this, uh, this is important later on. So you can actually uh, transform back or you can simplify in terms of u. So let's simplify this again. So taking exponent on every equation will give me 1 plus 2u equals to exponent 2 over 25 psi plus d n here. Function of d respect to n. Now, what is 1 plus 2u? Okay, so uh, I can simplify this as 1 plus 2u equals to psi. So 2u will be a function of eta e2 over 25 psi minus 1. Therefore, my u of psi eta will be d of n 2 over 25 psi minus 1 over 2. Now we are almost done. We are almost done with our computation. So now transform back to x and y. We are uxy equals to now this is where we, we note eta earlier on we have 4x minus 3y okay so this is where we have our eta 4x minus 3y and psi as 3x plus 4y so change back and uh, I need to put a uh, D is my function. Okay, D is my function. So I have f of okay, eta. Now e 2 over 25. Now psi is 3x plus 4y minus 1 over 2. So this is the equation for you that you have solved. So this is using a coordinate method. Okay, so um, that's all for today's video. I hope uh, you can do more exercise and understand this better. Okay, that's all for now. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.